Right, that's good. Okay. But yeah, this is this is uh, Geo Woodstock 13. Yes, it is. <laughs> we are underneath the canopy. Uh, we are in the uh, we're at the kids table of vendors. Yeah, we are, but that's okay. I, it's awesome because we got a lot of people that are coming on by yeah. and uh, checking things out, mm -hmm. and uh, we have been giving away prizes. Yes, we we're have, giving away a lot of prizes. Yeah, it's really cool. What it is is we've got uh, these cards. As a matter of fact, I'll get uh, some of them over here. Yeah, we didn't really plan ahead for we this. We didn't plan. We're just talking as we go through this. Yeah. And, uh, and so go pardon from us it. if people walk in front of the camera. That's okay. <laughs> That's how they go. <laughs> but yeah. anyways, we've got these cards yeah. uh, that uh, talk about the uh, Geo Snippets Reboot podcast, and uh, then we have a QR code on it. Right. And what happens is some of them are laminated, and it's kind of cool because I've had uh, several people sit there and say, uh, I'm going to take these and, and put this out in and, geocaches, and cash, yeah. which I think is, is awesome. Cool. Thank you, by the way, if you yeah, do do no that. Yeah, no kidding. And, uh, and then after that, if you scan this, uh, one of two things happens. You can uh, win. You can win, and it says you are a winner, and you come by, and we've got a bunch of grab bags and some uh, coins and pins license plates that you can't even get anymore. Nope, you sure can. And uh, you can have a choice of one or the other. And then after that, uh, if, if, it's, if you're not a winner... You, you well, still... I don't like to say that because <laughs> even if you don't immediately win, you can still watch the show yeah. and still win a prize. You can still win a prize, yeah. and uh, that's what it talks about, which is our uh, Geosnippets cash dash. Yes. And uh, with that, each week we uh, spotlight from our sponsors. We've got cash-advance.com. We have coinsandpins.com. we got and GX, GX Proxy. Proxy. And uh, we go through there, and we'll pick one of their uh, products, and then we'll showcase it, uh, talk about it. Right. And, uh, and, and give then it give away. it away. Give it away as a prize. So Mail each, it away to the world. Yes. Each and every week we give away a prize at the Cash Dash, and it's very, very popular. Mm -hmm. So uh, if People you. People love winning stuff. They do. They love. Free, geocachers love free stuff. N yes. Free is awesome. As I look over to wife Amy. Yes. <laughs> My bag is getting full. <laughs> yes, it is. I have, have to go to the car and empty it. We have been very blessed <laughs> with uh, a yes. lot of good stuff that yes. come out from uh, uh, from the fine folks here at uh, Geo Woodstock 13. Yeah, I love it. And we love them. So, yeah, anyways, we've been giving away. Got a lot of winners so far. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a lot more car cards left. And when we're done doing our little snippet here, we'll start giving those cards out again. Totally. And uh, see if we can get some more winners and some more prizes out to these fine folks mm -hmm. so i'm very curious miss amy uh oh, when it comes <laughs> you You're always asking me questions i know this this is your first geo woodstock yes in one You're very observant one word or less oh good describe should be easy geo woodstock for you this year busy busy yeah that is awesome so how come uh, how come busy? one word so i'm pretty good at that well define busy what do you mean to find busy? You know what busy means. Well, busy means uh, busy work, busy what? Just lots of people behind. Yeah, lo lots of people and lots of things to do and see and, yeah, there's just tons of stuff. Yeah, it's pretty amazing because we went yeah. through. It's a and little overwhelming at first. It's a lot to take in. It now, really is. Keep in mind, we, uh, we started out uh, Thursday. Yeah. Uh, and we came a couple days early just yeah. to kind of get here get settled have, you know not for the first time in my history this hasn't been rush 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 have to go out and do stuff yeah no we've taken our time we've taken our time we found geocaches <laughs> some of them were really unique uh we went out uh, thursday i think it was just before dawn uh, just before dusk and uh, found a cemetery cache oh yeah i liked that one and, a lot and wife amy absolutely loves uh, cemetery caches, and so instead of going out and painting the town red, so to speak, with smileys, we we found one geocache. One geocache, yeah. And spent an hour just looking at yeah. that. Now, cool things really happen like there. That, though. Cool things happen at the cemetery. The first thing yeah. that we saw was uh, Amy's first encounter with a woodchuck. No, it was a groundhog. A groundhog. Why do you keep would, saying that? See, in, up in north, up north, um, we tend to call them more groundhogs. Or uh, woodchucks. I was like, then why do you keep calling it a woodchuck? <laughs> I get it confused. But we call woodchucks and, and just have a, you know, that's they they are not, uh, they look cute. They got that little yeah, he was bucky beaver thing life. going. But it was really one of those things where um, 
they don't like them around cemeteries. Yeah, he was fleeing for his life, so <laughs> I did. I didn't get a picture of him. I wanted a picture, but he was. He was running for He was his too life. busy fleeing. Yeah, he was like, please don't shoot me. Yes, and then uh, we Whatever. went a little further into the cemetery and had another surprise. Yeah, a herd of deer. Herd of deer walking and around. And they were pretty, uh, like, yeah, you crazy humans, just yeah, take what, a picture what, of me and be done. Yes, because we're like, <gasps> deer! And they're like, yeah, have you never seen a deer before? <laughs> just take the stinking picture and leave. Yes. So, yeah. It was fun. So we spent we spent a good part of the of the, an hour at least uh, on one geocaching course, and then it got dark, and then we had to go do a. a uh, yeah, I was going to stay and take pictures of all the creepy things that happened. Oh yeah, because they actually yeah. said in this that, it, that was haunted. it was haunted, and you could go through and and you yeah. might see either ghost hunter type people. Yeah. Uh, doing whatever spectral yeah. analysis things that they do, or you can actually see stuff. I wanted to stay and see stuff. Yeah, that would have been cool. But, but we had to move on. And he there says, was, no, we got to go back. It was very Whatever. important because uh, we had to go uh, to a, this very petite, quaint little flash mob. All right. That was fun. Um, of 300 plus people. Yeah. Six <laughs> people sign up and then 300 invade this little itty trailer that was a donut place yeah well it was, so a bu- it was an awesome it, place it was a business section and they were yeah. kind of like in the back alley of of a group of businesses that are around them and it's just yeah. this little single wide trailer that was then very afraid because <laughs> 300 people invade this hey, hey it was invade awesome this place it and was they're really like oh cool. my god yeah, yeah. it yeah. was awesome we had people pulling up going um do you know what's going on what's going on and we're like no what are you talking about <laughs> yeah it was it's fun. not always this busy yet yeah <laughs> nine o'clock at night in the back alley of the business <laughs> district <sighs> you don't was... always sell this many donuts what what's going on <laughs> so it was good anyway we apparently now we're from north carolina and uh I'm of course from north carolina. well You're she is i i just pretend that i am <laughs> and I go through, and uh, of course we we have a big thing for for Krispy Kremes, and oh my those God. are like for for most people, most people. I can't say all. Oh. For most people that uh, understand the philosophy of Krispy Kremes, or understand the philosophy of Krispy Kremes after you just got them out of oh, if that hot sauce on hot, it is game you, on. Oh, baby. you get them fresh and hot right after they made them. As opposed to as they're going through the rest of them. We have creepers right now. We have. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's really cool. Mm-hmm. And uh, we went through and just had a great time seeing this little place get completely obliterated by people. And I'll tell you what, they were booking. Yeah. They had they those They were so awesome. Going. Great, great sports on the whole thing. Oh, yeah. It was awesome yeah if you check yeah, out great uh, people if you check out our facebook uh, pages or our google plus pages you'll see uh some of the photos that we took from the event it was drizzling out it was it was drizzling it was cold. It was, i was cold he was like this is swimming weather whatever man <laughs> even then it's cold it was cold uh, the weather <laughs> dropped probably 20 degrees yeah. in temperature we left 90 degrees and came to 50 yeah I thought, i'm it gonna was, freeze to death yeah they they but, yeah. they dropped and actually even today under the tent it's a it's it's not chilly it's actually quite comfortable for me so that means yeah, you're freezing. Yeah, it, it's a little, no, it's a little chilly to me, but it's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad at all. So it's it's one of those things, the the events have been fast and furious. A lot of yeah. f- flash mobs that last longer than your standard 15 minutes by an hour and a half. Yeah, it's like a 30-minute flash mob <laughs> that lasts an hour and a half or oh, two yeah. hours. Oh, yeah. So yeah, but each but it's one, great. it's they did a great job because what they did is they took uh, each event and 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 just put one after the other, giving you the amount of time that you went to actually go and uh, get to each event. Mm-hmm. And there's like three major towns that they have around uh, Hagerstown and Boonesboro right. and Frederick. Right, And right, right. they're all probably about 20 minutes each apart yeah, from each other. everything is really close here. Yeah. And yeah. we it's very so nice. It was very nice to be able to say, okay, from this time to this time they're doing a flash mob. Mm-hmm. I've got that, you know, half hour, <coughs> excuse me, 45 minutes to go over to the next one. 
and then you do that one, and then you go to the next one. Right. And for actual Geo Woodstock itself here this year, they've got it so that a lot of the events are right here. Yes, which is very, very convenient, and I do like that. Yeah. It's, uh, and i got to tell you, kudos to the guys who set this up because oh, yeah. yes. they have, it is a well-oiled machine. I, the, I have the registration. seen no complaints. I have not seen no. any issues. And the it's registration awesome. here was phenomenal. In under an hour, they had everybody, uh, over half of the registration yes. people, the people who registered. In an hour. In an hour. In under, an hour. Under an hour, everybody was out. They, they and it was crazy. Broke, they broke things up. We were literally first in line because we're, we're technically vendor, so we kind of got the uh, got in line first so that we could get this no, done. No, we got in line. <laughs> we got in line first because who said to go ahead? Okay, somebody said, "Hey, we really need to take care of this so we don't get stuck in the line." That and was so, me. yeah, well, you know that always works well. <laughs> I actually listened, which is yes. good. Yes. Yes. Otherwise, I would have re- registered, and he would not have, and he would have stood in <laughs> line, and he would have said, that line's terrible. It really wasn't. And it but was, it wasn't. It was awesome. We've got some B-roll that we're going to show where you see how many people they did. Yeah, it, it's it just You went into, like, they have this huge registration room. It's just humongous, and it's actually broken into two sections. As you go in, uh, they break up by your alias of uh, geocaching. Your geocaching name, yeah. And and you just go in and tell them your name, and they pull out your registration. Mm -hmm. They pull all the goodies, depending on the package deal that you had set up. Mm -hmm. And then you go through, and and you get your stuff. And then if you bought something from the store or whatever, you're done. Bing, bang, boom, and it was there. That's right. And you move out, and that's it. We Mm -hmm. came back an hour. It started at 5. A uh, huge amount of people. I think we were in and out in like 10 minutes. Less than that, I think. Literally. Literally yeah. less than that. Yeah. And so we went through, and uh, it was great. We, we went through. I went back right. an hour later thinking, let's show them the line. Yeah, there so wasn't one, really. See, there was nothing left. Right. They had like a quarter of the one room left. Right. And when I talked to uh, the guys at uh, Geo Woodstock 13, and they said, We've got to verify the numbers, but we think we have literally over half the registrants done. And there was five minutes to six. And it was, yeah, 55 minutes they had a done in, in yes. that short amount of time. Yes. Absolutely. If you are going to do Geo Woodstock in the future, talk to these guys. Yes, they absolutely. know what they're doing. Yeah. Because it was awesome. There was no yep. nothing. There, it wasn't. You didn't have enough time to even think about. Wow, I'm standing in line. I wish I was someplace else. It was done. It was gorgeous. Great way to go. The facilities. We might as well talk a little bit about uh, Geo Woodstock in of itself. There, we're in an area that is it's a an huge, agricultural center. Yes, it's an agricultural center. It's a huge field with many, many buildings in it. Yep. And they, a lot of them are, are solid constructed. There's tents up. Uh, there's The vendor area is a huge area that uh, is uh, covered. So if there was going to be rain, there isn't a cloud in the sky right now. No, it's absolutely gorgeous Oh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous today. Yeah, because they, they went through, it's probably about maybe 74, 75, if that. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't even think it it's that. It is beautiful. And, but it, they were covered if they had rain. It was It was great. And you could go from building to building and see the different things that's going on. Yeah. Now, not and only, the classes. yeah, in the classes, which are going right now. Hi, guys. <laughs> uh, right now, we've got uh, classes going on. Yep. Uh, I just went over there and took a little bit of B roll. We'll show that too. And there's probably 300 people sitting in chairs mm-hmm. listening to the presentation. They were talking about puzzle caches and QR codes <laughs> right there. Uh, and I got some B roll of that. Uh, there's another thing going on just on the other side, another class. Then, sprinkled around in this agricultural center area, which is basically a huge field, 
uh, they've got different reenactments mm-hmm. of uh, different things. You've got mm-hmm. Revolutionary War things going on. There's people in full costume with this going around. Mm-hmm. There is uh, Civil War reenactments going There's on. There's a kids area. There's a kids area for kids to go play. Mm-hmm. It is amazing all the different things that they go through and the work and the detail uh, for things to uh, to do. The, you, if you don't figure out how to do stuff, because we're... Uh, uh, our tent where we're at right now, we're by the kids' area. They're playing horseshoes. They're playing cornhole. They're doing all sorts of stuff. They've Actually, got... one girl's standing on a cornhole board. Yes, I see playing that. Playing baseball. Yeah, well, you know, you got to adapt when you do things. I'm not really sure what that's all about, but okay. yeah. But anyways, adapt it's, and overcome, I guess. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> But it's amazingly fun. Now, yeah. I know when you go to uh, Geo Woodstock or any mega event, you, you, you ask the major questions. How's the parking? Is it you over? Know what? That's not even an issue. No, they've got tons. Not only do they have just the standard parking, which is a breeze. Yeah. They got them in. They got them moved where you're supposed to do, and you're done. You're set. Yeah. <laughs> They've got VIP parking for the people that yes. got the premier packages. They've got handicap parking for yes. handy, and I mean not just one square someplace. Nope. They got a ton for everybody. And uh, they've got the vendor parking. And then they got the vendor parking. And they've got. I mean, it's just very it's well awesome. set up. Yeah. So we went very through, well set up. And the, the other thing that people, the first thing that they think of is the porta potty situation. Yeah, they are everywhere. Yeah. And then they've got streams of it. I don't I have not heard a single complaint. Nope. Since we went through it. It's mm-hmm. awesome. They did amazingly well. Yeah. So you've got parking, you've got the porta potties, you've got uh, all the different attractions where you're not walking seventeen miles to get to them. No. Yeah. And we haven't done any of the uh, challenge or the um, the lab the caches. lab caches yet, but uh, we've we've had a lot of people talk about them. And uh, and they've got some pretty creative stuff going, so I want to investigate that more. Right. If you walk away from Geo Woodstock 13 bored, you are not doing it right. Uh, then you're asleep, <laughs> really. And, and I don't know how you can, because you can yeah. hear in the background yeah. all the people. We'll show you some B-roll of the vendors. Yeah. I lost count. I could not even tell yeah. you. I'm thinking 50. Yeah, different I don't vendors, even know how many, how many and that's just in the area right here, not uh, counting yeah. all the other spots where they've got things going. Yeah, I haven't even been everywhere, and I've almost spent all my money. <laughs> yes, if you want to see a little girl's eyes light up, mm-hmm. uh, shiny is definitely one of the things that I've uh, got some pretty cool stuff. It's <laughs> he's like I bought a bus. <laughs> We're going to need a bus. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's she's doing a fantastic job. I'm, I'm very happy that we're not having to get the second mortgage uh, oh, for all this stuff. I've been okay. But she's like, this is my first Geo Woodstock. We can get this. Yes. And it's like, all right, fine. Yeah. I won't be able to say that next year. No. So uh, she'll have to. Yeah. So we're going to find out where Woodstock is and they're going to be next pull year. Pulling the reins or something when it comes to that. But yes, tons and we tons. We talked to the going caching people. Yes, we talked to the going caching people. We've talked already. to so many people. I don't even know who I've talked to. Oh, just yesterday. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, just yesterday we I talked had to so many a people. We blast cuz we were we were here and uh, of course Joshua Hello, Joshua. Oh my God! He came over. Finally this... met Joshua. Yeah, so he the, is the geocaching, awesome. the geocaching vlogger. Yeah. Oh, he is a great guy. He's like family now. He is family now. It's yeah. It's, it's all one big family. There's a ginormous sunflower umbrella. Yes. Okay. Sorry, squirrel. <laughs> squirrel. Um. It's... Yeah. So you see lots of different things. Here. Yes. But um, yeah, it was yeah. great. So he stopped on by. We're trying to do an interview. There's a billion people going through, so let's yeah. just say I, if he gets anything out of that, I will be greatly surprised. We had to do that interview in, like, three different parts. <laughs> like, part one, part two. Yep. Yep. Now, as you can also hear, uh, there's we, dogs here, there are which pets I'm here. I'm in love with. Yes, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of pets brought here, and uh, they're all on leash. And they're all in their own way. Uh, you know, they're all friendly. We don't have any people with... Uh, with uh, aggressive dogs, which was one of the stipulations, you got to have somebody that's uh, socialized and able to deal with uh, a bunch of uh, 
geocachers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know everybody wants to pet the dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so uh, we've got them here. Now, we have seen some other types of animals. Uh, we went through, and I love the guy in the jester outfit. There's that's a guy walking. in the jester's outfit, Beautiful. Yeah. It's colorful. It's gorgeous. And I, I would wonder, totally wear that. Yeah, I would, too. I wouldn't fit well, but is that his wife? I don't know. There's yeah, another lady like in it. another colorful outfit walking with yeah, him. Yeah, with flowers on her hat. you got sights. If you are a photographer, Dude. this is a dream for <laughs> you. And I still want that guy's hat from last night. Oh, the one. We went to a Munsey event. And uh, went through, and it was I knew awesome. This wouldn't be a fifteen-minute thing for you. Oh no, we're just going to talk. We might as well get it get it through because it's fun. Yeah. And we'll we'll have it go because we don't know what's next. <laughs> with yeah, other things to go there's do. There's liable to be some other stuff happening. So yeah, but anyways, we go to this Munsey event, and uh, it was a food drive that they are doing for yes. the community. Yes. Which and is uh, really good. OBX Geek is the guy who uh, who set that up. Yep. And he did an amazing job. They hit a truck there yep. that had some beautiful lighting work done. Yeah, it was he really awesome. Did good with that. If you uh, if you were into Munsey, they had an entire set of programs. Now, uh, Amy and I have these lanyards uh, that are specially made uh, for in the name of the uh, action. We talked Hi. about it. Uh, we talked about it on the past shows. Uh, it's called Forging Community, and it's uh, about yeah. having geocachers and Munziers uh, getting together uh, for a common goal. And this one was to uh, help feed the, hungry. feed the hungry and to get money and food. You could bring either food or I think for the path tags was uh, $5 for a set of like five or six, I think it was. I yeah, didn't get a chance to look at them yet. They're sitting with the collection of the rest of the treasure that we have. Yeah. And so oh we'll, we'll eventually look at it. But there was, again, 300 people easy yeah. uh, in a parking lot yeah. uh, with a ton of uh, food and a, a, a ton of money. And I think, what it was, it was like 2000 or was it 20000 There was a lot of path know. tags. I don't know. That they printed out. A yeah, ton I don't of them. And I, I don't remember. We'll have to check the notes yeah. and, and get there. And so you had the option of donating food or money for the path tags and or then go from there. Or you yeah. can do both. Now, you were given this lanyard uh, if, you, uh, if you were lucky enough to get them for Forging Community. Mm -hmm. And there's a QR code, obviously, because it's Munzee, right. uh, that's on these. And there's different types. Now, Amy and mine are the puzzle type. We're in a of, mystery. We are mystery uh, uh, Munzees. And again, I've, that's something I've heard before. Yes. And uh, so what happens is, is obviously everybody's clicking everybody else's uh, personal right. munsies and, and right. getting points. Right. Now, I got into it pretty good last night because normally when you get a munsie, you get like five points if you find one or ten points, depending on the type, that kind of thing. Right. We found munsies that they had scattered just for the event that had 140 points. Yeah, I'm skipping <laughs> levels. I'm like, how does this even happen? Yes. I think I skipped like three levels It was or something awesome. crazy. Yeah, it was awesome. So yeah, it was uh, fun. I went up like two or three levels. She went up like four. Yeah, you know, I don't even know how that and, happened. And it's like ding, 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 ding. And then the other part that they did is there are a lot of people... Uh, I think Sonny and Sandy have their stuff. We have a thing. They Munsey's has these Munsey event uh, type of processes now. It's a new app, and I, I don't Eventsy. have a Eventsy. Thank you. That's why I have you around. You are you are our knowledge person. You're the brains no, of the I'm out. Not. You are the brains of the outfit. No, I'm not. I just remember random stuff that it, you can't remember. And you do a great job with it. Anyways. <laughs> These these uh, events that you can do, um, they have it's kind of like lab caches or challenge caches, where yeah. you have a certain goal that you have to do. Yes. And so for us, because we are Geo Snippets Reboot, uh, we if have you a boot. you have a boot and you have a picture of uh, the boot with the signage, mm -hmm. and it has people come down and. Keep talking. And we've got an announcement coming through that they have talking in. But, yeah, the, uh, it's, it was fun. It's creative. There's so many different things that you can do with this stuff. They are expanding in such a cool way. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to give them another look, quite yeah. frankly. Yeah, because, I mean, they're starting to get out and branch out into different things. And 
and really expand more than just um, scanning a sticker on the back of a pole. Or, yeah. Or, you know, what have you. Yeah, and, and they I have. I think it's really exciting for the for Munzee itself because people who don't do Munzee think that that's, that's exactly all it is. what it is, is it's scanning a sticker on the back of a pole or yeah. whatever. And Munzeeers tend to think that it geocaching is just finding a box in the middle of the woods when we all know it's much more than that. Absolutely. So I think that that we both as a, as communities, separate communities, need to get together to figure out exactly what it is that we are both doing so we can work together yeah. to help the community as a whole. Yeah, and that's, that's just another aspect uh, that they do. They also have it where... Uh, and again, the, and I see signal walking by, so I can tell that uh, oh, it'll be happening signal. this way. Uh, but it's it's amazing how these uh, different types of augmented reality games are progressing. They're yeah. becoming more advanced. They're becoming more integrated. You're able to do so many different things right. uh, that it's it's fun, and I'm glad to see it. It's healthy to make that kind of a competition. Now, we're a geocaching-based store or show, but it's... We don't have a store. No, I, well, actually, no. I mean, we I'd don't. sell some stuff. <laughs> I, will really be, I won't even it. go into what that's going to be. <laughs> it'd be your stuff. Jamberry, Sensi, here we go. No, it'd be your stuff. It'd be my... Oh, selling my stuff? Yeah. The Head Hard Hat uh, Museum? Thwackers. Thwackers. Oh, jeez. I'm going to sell those stinking thwackers. <laughs> By the way, just so yeah, that you we're know. we're going to have an event that we, I'm going to give those things away to the local kids. The For the WWFM 12. Here, small child. Take, take this. this. <laughs> Your parents will hate me forever. But you can hit them with it, and it's safe. Yeah. That, that's what's good. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so we've got we've got our uh, <laughs> thwacker attack event check it out on uh it's june 13th it's an official wwfm 12 event and it's going to be great i think it's just going to be be a lot of fun and uh should make for some interesting video if anything yeah (laughs) it'll be something (laughs) but not quite sure what it'll be but it'll be something yeah so anyways back to uh to uh, To what we were actually talking about right so it's it's one of those things where we don't have a problem talking about other types of games that are available yeah. because they're out there. There are people are playing them. You look at Ingress. You look at all these other ones. Uh, they're, yeah, because if you don't like to leave your car and play something, <laughs> then Ingress is for you. So it's a lot of fun. It really is. And uh, you try a couple of things. You know, you give it a. It, it's 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 a change of pace. You go through, you try it for a little while, you go, eh, all right, I want to get back into geocaching, and away you yeah, go. Yeah, sure. But you have the options. Yeah. And uh, with the way that the technology is building into uh, your smartwatches and all the rest of it, uh, the, I, I, I think I was born way too soon by the time all the cool gadgets are going. I mean, I'm this close of having my Dick Tracy watch oh, my lord uh, and, and it, all i need now is the flying cars and i'll be a happy camper no, but we digress yes you so do. anyways more stuff with geo woodstock 13 tons of things going on tons of people if you were going to take a rough estimate of how many people you think showed up for this could you even make a rough guess oh no probably 2000 maybe I, I would, I'm thinking almost maybe another thousand past that. Really? I'm thinking they got at least three thousand in this uh, for this. Yeah. And there's, uh, a, there's it, a boatload of people here. And it's not you're not elbow to elbow. I mean, we're looking no, here. No, it's we're, really spread out. We're, it's really not all the. It's really not. It's not crowded. No, it's it it's not crowded. It's enough that you can sit there and see. Now you're looking over. We're looking over to our left here, actually past uh, Sunny and Sandy's table. And uh, it's funny because... And Sean. And Sean, sorry. And uh, Sean's awesome. He's an amazing... (laughs) He came by. We had a lot of fun. Uh, But anyways, we're looking past Sunny and Sandy's table, and we're kind of looking at the food court area. There's a lot of people there. 
Yes, because they're hungry. Yes, they want food. Uh, we have not tried our meal tickets yet, so that'll be interesting. We'll have to see how that works. I yeah. just realized I didn't want to forget that. Yes. So after we're done talking in a couple more minutes, That's we're probably going to wear uh, be where yeah, we're Yeah, we're going to get food. Because I'm hungry. The food, we got to try some of it last night at the, uh, the pre-registration event. Oh, my God, it's freaking <sighs> awesome. If you love seafood, you're in Maryland. Yeah. If you don't know about blue crab, you have not been in Maryland long enough. You're not living. You're not living. And it was funny because Sonny actually came over and said, okay, here's the list. What? What's this? What's this? And it was great. Yeah, it's funny. So, uh, yes, he he tried the crab balls, and he loved them. Yes. He thought they were awesome. Yeah. So, and, and I tried the firehouse crab balls. Hokey smokes bullwinkle. Were those awesome? Yeah. And well, they're called that because a uh, fireman works. A former fireman works in the, in right. the truck. And, and they actually do have a little kick. So it's got just enough stuff. Of course, you got your base sauce and all the other thing, or base salt and all that uh, that you put onto it. Delicious if you're here for seafood. That crab soup. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, Amy got a mac. What was it? You got a uh, grilled cheese and this uh, crab base soup. soup. Oh. I let him have two bites and then the rest was mine. Yeah, she snuck it away back from me before I actually it went for a bite. It was mine. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it was good. Yeah, but the, it was mine. The food here is amazingly yeah, good. Yeah, it was good. So, yeah, yep. tons of fun stuff, good things, good friends, good camaraderie. And let's pull this back all the way back to uh, to Joshua because we sidetracked and took a right turn and, and kept going. That's because that's how we roll. That's how we roll. When we actually, the fun, I had the most fun I have had in a long time because uh, Joshua was here first time we met him. Yep. And uh, he's like slinking around, <sighs> trying to sneak up on us. It was great. Oh, he is an amazing person. Awesome. And and Amy said before family, and it's that's what it is. Yeah. Uh, Sunny and Sandy are, are very very close friends, and we consider family as well. And uh, you know, it's it is literally when you go to Geo Woodstock, it is a family reunion, mm -hmm. and that's what you have with here. But they, Joshua stayed with us for about two hours. And oh, just, he, you just sat at the booth just, with us. He's like, I, I don't want to be cramping your style because I'm at dude, your booth. It's like, what dude. style? We have no style. <laughs> it's like, dude, come on, really? have fun. We, we have got, no style. got to talk. Sonny and Sandy came over, yeah. and Sean came over, too, and we just had a great time. We have some, uh, and you'll see it on Facebook, we got some selfies. Uh, yeah, <laughs> all of us together. Yeah, that was awesome. That was the my that, that by far is my favorite picture. Yeah, so that was an awesome picture. The camaraderie is amazing. Now I'm watching Sean, and it looks like he's got a friend. So that's cool. He's having a good time. He's having a blast, man. He's so, just running all over the he's place. He's just having a good time, and the kids are all having fun playing around. Yeah. You if if you've never went to a Geo Woodstock, you've got to go. Yes. If you, I, if you can at all make it, you need to go. Because there's nothing like the fellowship and the fun and just being able to talk. Because, let's face it, geocachers just need a place. And to have... They you don't know, really need a reason. <laughs> no, just a place. Just a place. <laughs> well, <laughs> we were trying to do set up this morning, and uh, Sonny came by and wanted to do some pictures and wanted to talk a couple of things. And we just started talking tech. Yeah. And, <laughs> and people are coming by, and they're asking about stuff. And, uh, and Amy's like, Andy, Andy, and we're talking tech things. And just going at it, and it, you know how a basset hound is when they get a scent. You need a two by four to get them off of it. They kept people would come up and say, "Can we get your picture? Can we talk?" And uh, the next thing you know, it's like Andy, and Andy, and Andy. I'm like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> broke the broke the yeah. phase to, to get us and, so that we do stuff. And Sandy just started laughing. I'm like, dude, you've got to <laughs> tell him, shut up. Somebody wants to talk to you. It was great. She's like, I don't know. I'm like, yeah, oh, yes. you know, he'd still be talking if I hadn't done that. Amy brought her Southern on, and, and immediately my ears picked up. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm like, dude. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, long, long talk here. We were going to do... 
a couple of minutes. We now we've done a half hour. And, yeah, and people keep stuff. walking by wanting to talk to us. So. Yeah, and it's like I'm sorry, we're we're finishing yeah. this, so we're gonna wrap this up. Yeah, and then we're gonna do a couple more snippets uh, later on because uh, some of the other podcasts asked if we would uh, do some uh, describing about Geo Woodstock, so we'll do that as well. Yep, and and go from there. So thank you so much for listening to us and watching, and, and uh, we will be back in a little bit. It is probably about. <laughs> I feel like I've been here all day. It's noon. We've been here for three hours. I've been awake since. Oh my gosh! We have been here for feels like. three. Ooh, pretty dog. Three hours. Beautiful German Shepherd. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have been here for three hours, and I swear I feel like I I've, feel like I've been beat. It feels like it's already. six o'clock. Yeah, it really. Does. And it's not. There's that much stuff going on. So we got tons to go see. Tons of yeah, things to go do, got, and report back to you what what we found. Yeah. We haven't had breakfast, so I'm a little hungry. We had coffee. And a snack bar. And a snack bar. That is all we've had time. We have we have given away uh, a bunch of prizes. Yeah. And a lot of people are having fun with the uh, QR codes <laughs> and uh, doing that. So lots of fun, lots more stuff coming. Thanks for stopping on by, and we will get back to you to more of Geo Woodstock 13. Yes. We'll be back. All right. Bye-bye, folks. <laughs>